It's like coconut cream. But yeah, time. You know what I'm saying? Not too bad. to another dreadlock video. Today I'll show you guys how to wash your dreadlocks. The main thing that you have to do is make sure that you rinse your dreadlocks very often, like once a month or so. Every three weeks some people do it like that. But uh, this is my first time actually doing it. Just like I'll be washing it, like do some like try to get underneath it and stuff like that when I'm in the shower. But this is the first time I actually rinse it with uh, apple, apple cider, vinegar. You gotta maintain it, you know what I'm saying? before it's too late. Like my dreadlocks, it's getting long. And I have a lot of new growth. I'm gonna show you guys some of the struggles that I have with these dreadlocks. Uh, one of the struggles that I have with these dreadlocks is before I even turn my hair to a dreadlock, I had, uh, what you would call it, I had uh, dandruffs. So I struggle with dandruffs a lot even before my dreadlocks, but it's not too obvious, you know what I'm saying? But still, it's just like my skin, like I don't try to touch my skin, but my skin is dry. So I've had some recommendation from a friend recently from Gunther the Great. Uh, he has a bunch of videos I think he did on, on those also, which I'll be watching and stuff like that, but he recommended me to, to use this right here, apple cider vinegar, for basically rinsing my hair so that it can hold the dandruff. Uh, he uses, I believe, what he said, like lemon juice, that, and baking soda or something like that. But I don't got that. I only got this. So for those that only got this, hey, guess what? We're going to be finna do this. I'm going to put it in the hot, uh, I'm going to put it in the tub. I'm going to put it in the sink. And I'm going to put some water to it. And I'm going to let my head dread soak while you guys watch it. Let's see that. Let's see that. As y'all saw the dandruff, let's see what it do. Let's see how it do. Let's see what it do. Let's see what it do. After this, I gotta wash it and see, see what a, ah, dang, sweet. But, yeah, that thing was so nasty to smell. I gotta, you know, say condition and wash my hair. You can't condition it really technically. But, but yeah, time to take shower. Okay guys, uh, I washed my hair, let it dry, um, let it dry out and everything and you know what I'm saying, I showed y'all what it looked like earlier. And this is what it looked like, you know. Uh, get the ice old up. You know what I'm saying, not too bad. Look at 
da. Yeah, that's how you clean your hair, man. You know what I'm saying? Thumbs up, bro. You know what I'm saying? I'm not playing, you know? You get your clean hair, then you set to go. What's the next move now? Braids, twists, you know what I'm saying? What do you want to do with your dreads? You can do a lot, actually. You know? Mine's not that long, but it's long enough to do a lot. So, I'm going to rock it like this today. I have never actually wore my hair, uh, my dreads like down like this. I always have in the ponytail. Always. Up there or back here. So today I'm gonna rock it like this because my baby wants me to do that. And yeah, you know what I'm saying? God bless, I'm out. <laughs> It's like coconut cream, shampoo, and I have a conditioner version of this too. And then I use this. That's uh, coconut milk and organic honey. And my hair smells flawless, you know? But yeah, that's it for the video. Hope y'all like it. Next time I'm gonna... Y'all ain't ready. Next time, if you already know what this is, you know what you know what I'm saying? You know what you know what's going on. You know what I'm saying? So stay tuned, subscribe, like, thumbs up, hey, I'm out! <laughs>